well, this is a bit different for us. <laughs> Never do intros, do we? But no. we're going to try something a bit different this week. This is going to be quite a, an epic film, isn't it? Hopefully, yes. We're setting ourselves a task. We're going to come to our favourite beach mm -hmm. for seven days in a row. Yep. And we're going to do an hour of mudlarking every day. We're going to set a timer. Yep. <laughs> And we're going to see what we can find and then we're going to put it all together and it's going to be one long film. Yes, so this is day one. One. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so my first find of the day, of day one, nothing groundbreaking, but it is a little hoof clay pipe with some of the bowls still intact. We find a lot of these hoof ones here on this beach. I have to think of something to do with them all. Maybe make like a claw foot tub or something. That looks like it might be very handy to make a umbrella for the doll's house. Let's get some fabric and make an umbrella. Okay, I'm gonna film this small white blob being extracted just in case. Oh, it's one of those. It's the end of a dummy. Always good though. The bone ring went there and then the rubber teat went there. Well it's not going great so far <laughs> of our seven day. This is quite interesting. I think this is probably some sort of sieve. It's quite interesting the way it's made. You can see where they just stuck sharp implement in. It's quite nice. But hey, uh, the point of this exercise is to see what happens. I mean, there must be things here. So if you scour somewhere for seven days in a row, you should find them, hopefully. So we're about a quarter of the way through our first hour on our first day. And it's not, the finds aren't flowing. So I hope this isn't an omen for the rest of the week. But actually, as I've been setting this up to give you an update, I think I have found my first bead, just down here. Really hope the camera doesn't fall over. Here it is. A lovely little, I'm going to say probably quite old, turquoise blue. Not quite a seed bead, it's a bit too big. What's between a seed bead and a normal bead? Brilliant. Let's carry on. Where do we think this is going to be? Oh, I'd say that's Trafalgar Square. Ooh, See, that's Nelson's that's Column. Nice. Yeah, isn't it? Yes. You can see the four lions at the base. I'm stuck on pottery at the moment, but look. It's an acorn and it said Fied et Cur. It's a beautiful acorn. It's just such a shame it's missing the top there. I do love an acorn. So we are now officially at the half waypoint. It is currently half 11 and we started at 11. And we, between us, I think we've got a couple of beads <laughs> some other miscellaneous bits. But we're only doing a tiny bit of the beach today. So I have some hope for the rest of the week. See if we can double what we've found so far in the last half an hour. Okay, we're starting to panic. There wasn't going to be any finds on the first day. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a. But there, that's a beautiful faceted bead. Black glass jet. Like faux jet. Morning button. Morning bead. Morning bead. Nice. I think that's a very rusty looking marble. <laughs> well, the pins are slim, but hey, keep with us. You never know. You just never know. This is the truth of mudlarking and sometimes in the summer. But that's almost the fun of it as well. Can we find anything?
part of the Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo Clay Pipe. It's a shame. Oh, well, it's ginger beer. Is it? I doubt it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's such a shame. Such beautiful crazing. Never mind. It is beautiful. It's a jellyfish. Doesn't look very happy. Another jellyfish. Lung tonic bottle. What's that? Bit of half broken candlestick. Bit far gone. This will probably be the last find of day one. Is it going to have anything on it? Oh, I wonder if it does. If it did once, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> but it is a button. Last find of day one. <laughs> so, that was day one. Yeah. <laughs> do, we, do we need to look at our finds? Uh, no. We'll wait till the end. Yeah. And what was your favourite find of day one? <laughs> I quite like my pottery picture of Trafalgar Square. Yeah. I I didn't really find anything. <laughs> in my morning bead. Yeah. But day two is literally another day. So we'll just take this chance now to... There's so many little flies! I know! <laughs> to say, they're little beetles, to say that if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe down below. It's completely free to do and it just really helps the channel a lot. And this video alone is going to be seven, seven days, hours, yeah. seven days. That's just the mudlarking. It's not going to be seven hours long. No, as in <laughs> of, yeah, of creation and driving and so yeah if you haven't already there's a subscribe button down below if you enjoy our videos see you day two yeah let's go and we'll do a magic editing trick <laughs> whether that worked or not but day two day two let's not waste any time. any time it's hot again let's see what we can find A little black fasted. Oh, it's one of those shaped ones. Ooh, it's a more unusual shape. Nice, a little bead. Lovely. Yep, well, the second day is already much better than the first. We've been here about two minutes. It's a couple of miscellaneous bits. It looks like it may have been a pen. It's got the two things on the end. Sorry, the sun's gone in. And then I imagine this was part of a beaded purse. Handbag, so in there, and it's got a little, it's had the chain attached to it. I know it's broken, but it's a kick with a key. <laughs> Always love a key. see that it's broken but let's see what it would have been. Oh, it's sort of encrusted. Mm. Maybe it wasn't a pipe. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like it really looked like a pipe but it's not. Oh well. Tiny, tiny mother of pop-up, but excellent for dolls. There might actually be a find there. Can you see the edge of it? Is it a coin? Please be a coin. Please be a coin. Oh, I think it is a coin. Oh, I wonder what coin it is.
Let's see if we can clean it up. It looks a bit, but I'm happy. I found a coin. A coin! Look at how melted that bottle is. It's gone blue and it's complete. <laughs> oh. Potential shared, interesting story. GW and J Walker. Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. Hmm. Interesting. The day for the incredibly melted things for me. <laughs> Look at that bottle stop. <laughs> oh. Definitely seen better days. That looks like it could be a shape. It might just be a blob of melted glass. Oh. No. It's a shape. <laughs> what do we suppose it was though? It's a faceted blue glass, like the, like a finial, like the top or something, or a stopper. It's too big to be a hat pin, I think. It's too heavy and it doesn't look like that's the bottom. Oh, it's beautiful though. Obviously, it's very battered, but it's still lovely. Oh, what a beautiful blue. Nice. That's a big feather. <laughs> Please. Do you Ooh. think? Do you think? Mm. The way things are going. <laughs> it's wow. quite buried. Still going. Oh, ooh, no. Ooh, ooh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that about sums up this. It's anything on the end of this? It feels quite firm. Oh. <laughs> Do you want me to yeah. <laughs> Film or dig, one or the other. <laughs> oh. feels firm. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Please don't just be a really long <sighs> pipe stem. Yeah, there's a, there's a, oh. Uh -huh, it feels very firm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, is it just a? Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have That's any so maker's firm. mark on it? Just check, yeah. Doesn't look like a fresh no, break, though. No, it's not. Uh, not even any uh, words on it. <laughs> oh, broken dear. things. <laughs> Keep going. That's a real shame. Melted, but it's a bell ink. Beautiful shape, but we have no room. They have to be strong, even when we're not finding anything. <laughs> it is crazy how things can turn. It wasn't that long ago, a couple of months ago, we had like our best mudlark and longest mudlark on this very beach. And now, they're not really finding anything. <laughs> Tiny, tiny green bead. Is it a bead? Oh, what is that? Maybe it's not a bead. What is that? It's just a little lump of glass, but it's oh. got like white in it too. Oh, so it's not a bead. <laughs> no, but it's cool though. And it'll definitely be useful in something. <laughs> but it's not a bead. <laughs> I'd say it's better than a bead. Okay. What's that? It's like a washer or a hem weight. It's quite heavy. It's metal around with a little. Hmm, it's a hole or a dimple. Hmm, it might be something. That's quite funny. I'm sure we've definitely got a use for that. Got a little base. Very fancy. Look at the iridescence on that glass. It's a shame, it's not quite, or you can see it, but it's not doing its true justice to the camera. Wow. Is it a spoon? Oh, how end? much of the spoon is there? Oh, is that a button? Oh, 
Ooh. Is it going to be a whole spoon? Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's still. This is a whole brick. <laughs> Digging day. Beautiful little delicate spoon. Anything on it? I can't tell immediately. Don't want to rub it too much. Ha! Yay! Nice! Cool. Nice spoon. I clean Excellent. That. Yes. Nice. Teaspoon. Wonderful. I think I can already see that it's broken. No! <laughs> oh well. You're going to take it, yeah. Well, two hours down, five hours to go. Oh, oh butterflies. Um, better luck. If we just keep on this up to, upward trajectory throughout the seven days, by day seven, we'll find the there. Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's quite hard work, but we'll keep going. Yeah. We will see you day tomorrow. Day three. So before we even get to the beach on day three, there is a, obviously broken, but you can still see the fingers that side, large doll's arm. Brilliant, okay, maybe that's a very good omen for today. I don't think, I think, I... <laughs> the time has passed, <laughs> so carry on. Day three, and it's a very windy day three. <gasps> oh, I can control. The way <laughs> it's a very very windy day three but i've already as you've seen i've already found an arm so fingers crossed it's gonna be a good day we're gonna find some good things let's go very unlikely that this is going to be complete but <laughs> no <laughs> well that's strange Kate's already found one of these and I found another one it's an arm day oh tiny one oh it's got a bit of stuff but I'm sure we can get that off yay I know this is probably broken, but uh, dig for you just in case. Oh, it's not moving there. Oh, oh I guess I can't crease it in. I don't know, I think it's a bit like oh. lumpy. I'm literally like. <laughs> Concrete. Nope, it's concreted in. That's not coming out. <laughs> Never mind. Corset fastener. Might have to make a bigger doll and use lots of these that we found on the dress. Make a corset. Could be fun. Take this little piece of metal just in case it's half of something after we've soaked it. As I was heading over, I got my hopes up because I could only see it from a different angle that this may have been a seal matrix, but I think it's actually a little knob. But that's still quite nice and I'll take it. It's another one of those teeny, tiny, tiny buttons that are good for dolls. <laughs> Blue encaustic 
tile would have been like in a Victorian hallway. I take that. Is that a slate pencil? I think it is. See where I'm sharpened. I like that. This is a very odd thing. It's obviously melted glass, but why does it look like that? <laughs> I mean, obviously it's hollow, it's got a hole, but it's, I don't understand. You'd like to think of the bottom of a wine glass, but that's, yeah, that doesn't, what is it? Uh, yes, it's been melted, but it definitely, I think it's definitely glass. Yes, it is glass. An odd thing. I'm going to take that, clean it and see if anybody has any ideas. An odd, odd thing. <coughs> Just your legs. Isn't it odd? It's glass. Yes, it is. But it's got a hole in it. Yes. And it's flat. And it's, and it's What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It was worthy coming over. It's a very strange thing. Ah. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's melted a bit. Yeah. I, I, I'm... You I don't mean, know. Could it be the base of like a... It's way too thick to be like the base of like a wine glass. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Well, I don't know. Are you going to take a picture of it? No, but I can. <laughs> no, I just see it. You look nice with the water behind you. That looks intriguing. It's a glass flower. Oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Is it a button? Was it a? I don't know. Maybe it's a camisole. Or was it a button? It a bead. It might have a hole. That's really. It might have nice. a hole through it, but it's quite good iridescent. Like flat. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty. That's my find of the week so far. <laughs> Stunning. That looks like a shield shape to me. Oh, I think that's probably the end of a belt. The little, that's what that would have been. My last man bed, I'm pretty sure. Tiny green seed bead, really tiny. Oh, no, it's sort of turquoise. Is it patterned? Two seconds. No, but it is a beautiful, it's got a bubble in it. It's a lovely. Oh, the sun's come up. And my hair's in the way. Seed bead. It's another bead. A really, really bright blue faceted one. Wow, that's so lovely. I've not got a faceted one in that colour. Nice. Is that metal and is it a button? Hmm. Ooh. I think that might be bone. That is bone and it's got a hole on either side. That's not broken, that's like ground off. That's what it's supposed to be. And then I can't tell if that sort of red material on the top is supposed to be there, if it's like... Glass. What on earth is that? <laughs> that was a very strange thing. I'll ask one, another mystery item. 
and a marble that's seen better days. What a great little patch that was. <laughs> Is it a Are you gonna, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I think it is a bow, yes. Yes. <laughs> it is a bow. <laughs> hmm. It's another tile. <laughs> I don't think this one's encaustic though. It might be marble. Some sort of stone. I'll take it though. Build a floor one day. Someone's feet. <laughs> yeah, it almost looks like there's glass on the other side, yeah. And that's not broken, is it? That's like where it was, that's the... Yeah, I don't know. That's good, that'd be good for the doll's house. Mm hmm. Wear it around the neck or something like a bright like necklace. Mm hmm. A lovely gentleman on the beach has just come up and given us this little doll's arm that he found. So he knew that we made, that we collected them, and that we're going to turn it into another little doll. So thank you very much. Well, that was a much more successful day it was, three. It was. I mean, I didn't really. But I like my mystery thing. Mm -hmm. That's intriguing. Your flower was amazing. Mm -hmm. And a bone mystery thing. Yeah. Oh, and the sun's come out, but it's also just started to rain. So, luckily, it sort of coincided with the hour. So. Oh, yeah, I can feel the rain on my hand. Yeah. So, we will see you on hopefully a dry day four. I'm going to do some fancy transition. Pop! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to try the other side of the beach today, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. I'm going to have to walk not across this. I'll go the long way. Okay. Actually, just on my way over to Mum, some real pirate treasure. <laughs> It is plastic and made in China, but look, near, near the boat, a pirate's ring. <laughs> I will of course take that, maybe Oscar will want it, doesn't quite fit me. It's really sad because this entire place is covered in marsh samphire, but which is mum's favourite vegetable, but we don't think we'd want to eat it from here with all of the uh, hundred year old rubbish in the ground. I'm really not sure there's going to be much on this side, <laughs> but that's the seven days. Oh, bit of blue. The pipe stem will stick. Pottery. Flow blue, I'd say. Wow, that's a very iridescent piece of glass. Wow, look at that, it's beautiful. I don't know why it looks like that. What is that? when she gets there. <laughs> Look, that's a paw. <laughs> you found something already? You really just got here? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, you had Imagine. me fooled then. Yeah, that was real gold. Yeah. I've got these things. Oh, a foot. Ooh. I don't know what that is. It's glass, isn't it? Is it glass? But it's really black and not yeah. like. That's old glass. Iridescent. I know, it's beautiful. beautiful. And a foot. And a okay. foot. Oh, what's this? Oh, I just picked that up. It's just a piece of metal. <laughs> but it's a different environment, yeah. It's a it's piece of pieces of glass and hmm. have a look. It's a bit smelly. Yep. <coughs> Job pot, even they're broken here. <laughs> it is quite cool to see the beach from the other side, though. Although, we're not really finding anything. <laughs> mm. More signs of bits here. It's a piece of kind of really sort of. I think it was probably part of a claw play clay pipe, just a tiny bit, but it's decorated. Make a nice bead. <laughs> but yeah, there's more more evidence of broken bottles and things around, isn't there? Mm. Nice bit. Bit of spongeware. Lots of fragments here, there's lots of pottery, like oh, ship's nails, which I might take for a craft. So there's potential here for something small to have slipped in. A metal patch. It's only gonna be nails. Oh, I can even get that one out. Pipe down. Hmm. Big curly one. Hmm. Oh, more tiny shells. I see some verdigris there. Can I get this one out? Oh, suddenly I'm finding a lot of these. <laughs> There's another one. I wonder if anything else has crept in with all of these. I've hit a sort of metal, but it's all ship's nails, but I'm just seeing if anything else is. So a lot of sea glass, well, beach glass, sea glass. I mean, it's not. Well, I suppose it is. Oh, it's not really worn, but there's some pretty pieces of pottery here. A bit over here. At least you could find a bead. You never know. I don't know what that would have been off of. Got like a lip there. It's quite cool though. Hmm. Is that quite an old roof tile? Would that have been for a peg? A wooden peg? Is this an old tile, like a roof tile that would have had a wooden peg in it? Ten, 
Yeah. Yeah, it would have probably it would have been bigger and there would have been another peg here. Yeah. yeah. That's quite cool though. Oh, it could have been off the front of a house. Like um, here they have, uh, what are they called? What they have, slate, round red slate in front, tiled, half tiled, I can't remember what to Google it. <laughs> but it's a sort of house you get. You know. Mm-hmm. But that would be older, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, I really like that. Cool. Do you suppose that said tavern? I think it probably did. Oh. Hmm, I'd love something complete that said tavern one day. I think Mum's talking about the glass and there is some, the colour of that warm piece. Oh, oh no, I can't, it's the most beautiful sort of cerulean blue, but it's not showing up. They might take it. I've not been filming them all, but I have been collecting a lot of ship's mails. And is that the end of a tap? Or a... Uh, what's that? That's, tap. Yeah. Come in handy. On this piece of pipe. Ooh, cork. Cork. Oh, cork. Wow, okay. Let's carry on. that. Goodness. <laughs> it's much larger than the rest of them I've been finding today. I've actually found something on this side of the river. I think Kate's going to notice it <gasps> immediately. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's a marble. Oh. I don't think it's very old. But yeah, it's a marble. A marble this round thing. What is that round thing? Oh, oh drop the marble! The marble. <laughs> Melted blob glass. Uh, there's bits of glass everywhere. Yeah, lots of evidence. Yeah. The marble's beautiful though. Do love a marble. That's a beautiful piece of mocha ware. Yeah, like that. It's a nice bit of pottery with a tree. It's a shame it's so encrusted. Mm. I'm just digging at this greenness. That's a nail, but this is round. Might just be the top of a tack. I think it probably is. <laughs> oh well. It's round. It is the top of a tack, isn't it? Maybe, but it looks like a pretty old one. It's probably an old ship. Take it and see. Everything's mud coloured. Yes. <laughs> but then you see little metal nuggets. I think they're from like boats and things. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the base? It is? Yeah. That's a, it's, I think it's like this. Think of a wine glass or something in it? What is that? Yeah, it doesn't quite look like that. Does no. It? Unless it's been melted. Hmm. I don't know. It's another strange glass thing. I'm going to take that. Zip. <laughs> Zip. So there's lots of metal in between, isn't there? Mm. So that was day four, 
Only four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so successful, was it? But it was quite nice to search a different place. Yeah. And it's know. so pretty here. There's so yeah. many flowers. Because usually we really concentrate on that mm -hmm. bit, don't we? So we never have a no. to go over once we went over there. Mm -hmm. Found a cow. Found a cow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Got the marble. Yeah. And I'm quite excited about all my ship's nails. So we will see you day five. Day five. <laughs> <laughs> and it, we've got raincoats on because it's a bit cloudy, so it might and rain. It has been raining on and off. Yeah, so. which is a good thing. Yes. We've uncovered something. So. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Come on, get up. Am I supposed to? <laughs> Don't want none of your jip? Yeah. I don't know. Jip? <laughs> A marble. Yay. Good start. It's a cob marble, but it's very swirly. Or maybe it's cracked from heat. That's quite pretty. And there's this tiny piece of turquoise glass. Melted quite nicely. And is that a little tile? It might be. Oh, is it broken or is that just the shape? But always great for the doll's house. Curl of glass. It's another tiny, tiny button. <laughs> That's my third of oh, day five. Tiny curl of glass. Oh, I just feel I just <laughs> talked about this for ages and just realised I hadn't pushed record. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a piece of clay pipe with possibly a sun pattern on it, which is a shame. It's so broke. I think I picked that up the other day. <laughs> Another button. Not as small as the other ones though. But small enough. <laughs> okay. Mum, Mum had just said, what's that thing under your foot? Because I stood here and then she pulled it out and I wasn't filming, but we put it back in. But... <gasps> oh, please. said that's all we need is a frozen charlotte i don't believe it I, I am actually possibly crying a little bit i was just thinking that there's there was nothing left on this beach just nothing but see come somewhere for seven days five days in a row and you will find something oh but day six and seven are going to be anticlimactic now <laughs> oh my god i mean i think he needs a bit of work he's a bit sort of burnt and stuff but Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It was... <laughs> Whose turn was it? It's so tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny. Well, you found something that we thought was, but it oh, isn't. Oh, yes. Which is supposedly yes, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. That's so... Oh my good. I, I completely did not think we were going to find one of those today. And I just stood on it. I just saw that bit and mm -hmm. it looked like legs. Yeah. I mean, he looks very smushed, but... I don't care. No, no, no I way. think, I mean, he's tiny. He's the tiniest, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's definitely the smallest we've ever found. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Right. <laughs> I think, um... Uh, we'll just, yeah, maybe just look around here a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, and then probably yeah, that's the that's, end of day yeah. five. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> and the birds are 
Celebrating they're not really birthday. singing, I don't know what no. they're doing. Chirping. Oh. I'm just debating the fact that we can't believe that just happened, really. And I stood on it. You stood on it. And I, I seem to stand on things that you spot as fines quite a lot. <laughs> Maybe my feet are subconsciously <laughs> telling me where the fines are. I, yeah, it's blowing my mind. There's just nothing here, and then there she was. Mm -hmm. I had literally just said, after this seven days, that we probably shouldn't come back here for a while. Yeah. And I think she was like, no, take me, take me. And that's our sixth Charlotte now, yeah? Yeah. You found four, <laughs> I found two. Like you said, though, you're up on the glass charms. <laughs> Seems to be that's what we've each got our eye in for. Uh, <laughs> with the whole the button with words on it and what it says. Take that home and soak it. Seems to be button day and Charlotte day. <laughs> and the sun's come out. I'm not sure we're going to get anything off that, but I'll take it and see. The little arm. What's she holding? I don't know what she's holding. What's she holding? Maybe a stick. <laughs> She'll be good though. We've got to start rebuilding some things soon. Mm -hmm. You're unusual. <laughs> what is it? Stoneware? What is it? Is it the top or the or like a foot? It could be a or, foot or something. Yeah. There could have been three of them. Looks like a little hat. <laughs> hmm. It's no frozen Charlotte, but it is a beautiful tiny little white bead. White though. White, yeah. <laughs> I should look along this bit. Well that was day five. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you oh. deliberately sing this? <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like I was singing it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think he's probably... But I think... But she's different again, and yeah. she's in a different sort of pose. Yeah, we'll clean her up. I think she should be okay, but... Unbelievable. Incredible. Yeah. Exciting. Don't know possibly what day in six and seven are going to do to top that, but... No. This might be it. It's made the whole five days so far worth, worth it. it. Yeah. So we would see you at day six. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, this video is actually going to stop on day five because we went Monday to Friday for the five days and then planned to go back to the week for the weekend. But when we got there on Saturday, some men were working on reinforcing more sea defence, more sea defence further up on a bit they didn't do last time. So we it, we couldn't have made a film. There was right, it was yeah. too noisy. Yes, <laughs> and they were doing their thing. So we thought that we would leave them to it and cut our losses at the frozen, frozen Charlotte, Charlotte. <laughs> because I don't think we were going to do any better any better than that. And five days was. Quite enough, hard work. Yeah. yeah, and five hours of footage, no, not five hours of footage, but <laughs> was enough to sort of edit. And we've come back to the allotment to do the roundup. But first, we have to explain quite a lot of people in America don't know what an allotment is. So what do we feel that we should explain a little bit more? We did have lots of comments asking, so we thought we'd just do a little overall thing here. So, an allotment is a small there's like this area of land that is owned by the council that is put aside for agriculture growing basically um this one that we are at has been a pleasure garden since victorian times so it has been used for growing for a very long time it is very close to our house it's about a 10 minute walk i'd say yeah if you walk fast if you walk fast it's like at the end of our road it's a long road but it's at the end of the road so we can walk there easy peasy so we don't have to go far i don't know how many the, the little bit your little bit of land is called a plot your plot we have half a plot and i think there are about well i want to say like 
it so 80? 80? I think there's 80 plots here. So there's 80 people, well, more, because obviously me and Mum own a plot together, rent a plot. But yes, there's a lot of people here growing, and you have sort of allotment neighbours, and it's all very communal. There's a big gate that you have a key to, so it's not open to the public. So you don't have to worry about your vegetables being pinched. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, you have free roam to sort of do whatever you want on the plot. You can build sheds, at least in our one, you can build sheds, you can get... I don't think you can have chickens. You can't have any livestock on no. ours. There are some allotments that allow you to do that, but I think there's concern that if you don't come, yeah. and then there's just chickens that will die. And yeah. yeah, You're not allowed livestock or bees on ours. Mm. But th that's not to say there isn't a lot of wildlife there. Because it's, it's lizards and slow worms. We have two slow worms that live in a compost bin. That, that we can't use. That was there when we got uh, the allotment. And yes, we can't use that compost bin because slow worms are sort of endangered and that's their home and they're also great for controlling the slug problem yes so they're called bell and sebastian and we leave them to it <laughs> but lizards there are lots of allotment cats that obviously live in nearby houses that you see it's very cute enjoying the sun foxes squirrels. Fox, foxes dug up all my one beans it's a bit annoying yeah. <laughs> or it could have been a badger i don't know one mm. or the other rabbits all, all sorts of things and yeah it's just a lovely place to grow vegetables and an endangered caterpillar Yes, a moth. moth. Yes, yeah, a caterpillar of a moth that is living on my edamame beans and it's endangered, so we're just leaving Leave him it. to have that yeah. plant. And we've got a uh, pet caterpillar. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, yeah, that, I hope that answers all questions, questions? I think. We don't own it, we rent no. it, we pay £30 a year for it and we get to keep it for as long as we want, basically. But we could also give it up whenever we want. Yeah. But we wouldn't do that. No, because we love it. <laughs> it took us two years to, on a waiting yes, list to get it. Yes, to be on a waiting list for a long time. So yeah, I think that about answers all the questions on the think so, hopefully. So now, instead of a shirt story this week, we're going to have a button story. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to think of some creepy pun? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of sure a pun about one. button. Uh, button history. Um, uh, I don't wow, know there's no synonym. I'm sure everyone is going to tell us an amazing no ones now. There's no synonym for like story that begins with B. Bard. The bu a button bard. Yeah. Button bard. Okay. Button, button bard. bard. There you go. <laughs> this little button said what says Watson Co. And there is a lot of history about Watson Co. From such a tiny little button. Um, Watson Co. was founded in 1874 by three architects. G. F. Bodley, Thomas Garner and George Gilbert Scott Jr. They all had a passion for the Gothic Revival in ecclesiastical design. They worked with Morris, Marshall and Faulkner and Co. So that's William Morris. And they came together with all sorts of people from the pre-Raphaelite movement such as Maddock Brown, Burne Jones and of course Morris himself. But they had a few tensions when they worked with these designers because the designers wanted to have complete control over the architecture but they wanted to control themselves so they broke away from them and formed Watts & Co. No one really knows why they're called Watts & Co because none of them were called Watt. <laughs> Nobody really knows where the name came from but in those days they, it was not the done thing to have your own name at the... which is crazy because there are. We've, we've, mm -hmm. we've done shirt stories but these people didn't want to put their name. It was crass and common. Apparently. Mm -hmm. There's also their first showroom opened on Baker Street at number 30 and I imagine quite a lot of you know the connection to Baker Street, but mm -hmm. they, they, it was connected to Sherlock Holmes. I think they're saying that Davenport possibly inspired Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Um, yeah, Davenport lived above the shop and was known for his eccentricity of dress and also his ability with the violin. Oh. Yeah. And that the location of the Watts showroom also gives us a clue as to the location 201B Baker Street, which is where Sherlock Holmes mm -hmm. lived. In one of the stories, Holmes breaks into the upstairs of number 30 in order to spy on his front door to watch Fort Moriart. Commission started flooding into Baker Street once it opened, and the most important of these was a set of copes made for Queen Victoria's Jubilee in 1887, and another set in 1890. This constituted the first vestments to be worn at Wren's Cathedral of St Paul. Ah, so it was mm. the first, yeah. They made vestments for parish churches, both in the United Kingdom and overseas, which continues to this day. Wow. Yeah. They worked for Anglican churches as well as Catholic churches. Huh. 
as well as making high quality ecclesiastical work. What the company also was at the height of fashion in terms of interior design and their hand blocked wallpapers and specifically designed furniture were in high demand in bishops palaces, university colleges and stately homes including most notably Powers Castle and Ham House where many of the original wallpapers may still be seen in situ. Wow. They carried on making them through the 20th century. They made them for the um, vestments for coronation of George V. They made them for ordinary parishes and they made wallpapers for the rich and famous. Wars came and went and the blitz of the archive, which had been in safe storage, destroyed. Oh. They have no, So they have no records pre-1939, which oh. is a bit of a shame. Yeah. They made the coats for Queen Elizabeth's coronation in 1953. They wallpapered John Betjeman's house. Wow. <laughs> a former employee relates the incident of he and Cecil Beaton <laughs> arriving at the showroom one afternoon after a good lunch and creating a new colourway of the Victorian Bodley pattern wallpaper. Wow. In the 1980s, company divided into two companies, Watts & Co, which continued as Tufton Street, and Watts, hmm. based at Chelsea Harbour Design Centre. Watts continues to lead the way in ecclesiastical tradition and innovation, with work in almost every English cathedral and a vast body of work overseas in all church traditions. Wow. So, am I right in guessing that this button is probably from an employee? Because that's not on a vestment. Yeah, a vestment, sir. Uh, very fancy, and they're usually yeah. cloth-covered buttons. So that must be a Watts & Co. It just says Watts & Co. London. So I'm guessing it's an employee's button. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, because it, cause, well, yeah. it sounds like a very fancy company. And it we does, found yeah. um, sort of work buttons before with the company's name on. Or it's for... That's my best guess. They also did the royal wedding. Hmm. William and... Catherine. There's lots of pictures. I mm -hmm. mean, they're amazing. They're yeah, beautiful. Stunning. Yeah, there's no buttons there. No. <laughs> it must have been an employee's button. Yeah. How that's wonderful. I wonder. That's... Yeah, but that's like Victorian and they, they don't have any the records. records for maybe that. we should send it to them. Go here. <laughs> have a really, 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 want that. really rusty button in your very glamorous <laughs> shop. <laughs> yeah, but if they've got no records. Yeah. I saw the. Maybe it was in a little bit better condition. Maybe, yes. <laughs> I couldn't find any online. Not a single one. Oh. 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 Maybe we should email them. Maybe we should. There was the button bard. <laughs> the bard of the button. The bard of the button sounds better, yes. So that was our mammoth trip. Um, we, it's not a mammoth lot of finds. <laughs> which is, mm. yeah, for five hours mudlarking, day after day. But we did find two good things. Yes. Oh, I think we found more than two. We found a couple of good things. Obviously one amazing thing, the best thing, made it all worth it. Yes. Well, that's when we sort of stopped, wasn't it, when they started digging up the beach and we thought, cut our losses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did find, actually find something. Um, so yeah, your favourite find? That I found? <laughs> uh, probably my, my little glass flower. I don't know what it is. What do you think it is? It is very beautiful. Is it a button? It's flat on the back though, isn't it? Yeah, but it does have a hole all the way through. Oh. Maybe it's I like a piece of jewellery or something. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. Ooh, it's a bit windy. Storm's coming. <laughs> yeah, we can't do this quickly. <laughs> um, my favourite find, uh, it's Rosa Charlotte. <laughs> he isn't, I think it is a he, mm -hmm. and he yeah. isn't the cleanest that you've <laughs> ever seen. But that's quite a good thing because you get to see his features. If you look at these ones, or all the others that we've found, two of those, the ones I find, you've <laughs> found the best ones I've found the most, but <laughs> two of them are kind of, it, yeah, I think he's a bit like that one. Mm-hmm, which was the first one we ever found. Yeah. It's very <laughs> indistinguishable, but at least you can see him mm -hmm. more because of the dirt. <laughs> but... He's not the smallest. No, he's quite tall, isn't he? I know. Wow. But it's a frozen Charlotte. It is. But it's been so long. Yes. I'm just so excited to find it. Definitely made it worth it. Um, lots. You found lots of buttons. I did. It's button after button after button. They're all very good for dolls' clothes. Yes. They're all tiny. Quite a few marbles. Um, quite a few arms too, surprisingly. No the one, legs. The one that the man gave us that we yes. met on the beach kindly. Oh, uh, the coin, we can't distinguish what it says. It's definitely got Britannia on one side and 
Yeah, and the date it's one something something four. <laughs> it could be anything, <laughs> and, and you can't see the face or words no. or no, it's completely gone. That's a shame. Fortunately, but you can see Britannia quite well. You can. Your mystery find. Oh. What is it? I don't know. It's very what odd. Color would it have been? It's like black. It's like pirate glass. Yeah. It's very very black. Oh, I hope you can hear this. It's a bit windy. We <laughs> we decided we'd do it down here because the sound was so good last time, but yeah. now it's really windy. <sighs> yeah, I do not know what that is. It's older, isn't it? Yes, I think so. But they've got this other mystery piece too. Mm. That might be um, that might have been a stem that's just been melted. Maybe. It's quite an interesting piece of glass though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've had to reconvene. <laughs> yes, it really, really started to rain. So... Yeah, the second part of the roundup, <laughs> but I can't remember where we got to. What are we talking about? The mystery find. Oh, yeah. It is very odd. It is. It is hollow. Yeah. And it's supposed to be. Yeah, maybe it was, maybe it had a metal, maybe it was a, I don't understand. I don't understand what it is. If anybody knows. Yeah. Have an inkling. It's, I mean, it's black, it's black glass. Mm -hmm. Can't see through it. No. So, um, yeah. I don't that's your a, opinion. The chunk of iridescent glass. Look at the iridescent. It is stunning. It is. Um, a spoon. Which, what does it say? Nickel silver? Um, no, um, that, um. Nevada silver. Yeah, American pot. Yeah. Silver pot. It's sort of like silver plate, but it's not. It's all smushed together rather than plated. Yes. I mean, it has still got, has hallmarks. It does How still. How strange is that? They tried to make it look like silver. Yeah. It's a lovely little delicate spoon, and we love, love a spoon. Love a spoon, <laughs> love any cutlery. <laughs> and then not much else of interest. <laughs> the tiny bark bone thing. Oh yes. A mysterious bone. This I think is also a plate of a box. Your shield oh. would have gone on the front of a box, I think. Oh okay. Like a decorative. Mhm. Mm unless it was. I mean, you see plates like that on the front boxes, but I don't know what that, why that knobbly bit would be there. I don't know. Another mystery. Another mystery. But yeah, the frozen Charlotte is by far the best find. Yeah, I think you'll look glass flower though. Yeah. And we have got, we've got the interesting button. Yep. <laughs> which I've already talked about. Mm hmm <laughs> but it That's... is. I think at this point I should get Kate to cut in an image of what we found over four days. Well, here I'll just um. Oh, spin it because I haven't put it away. Cause just... I'm a terrible person. I'll just pan up. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is the last time we went four days. In a oh room. no, because you haven't put the film on yet, have we? Because of the secret thing. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. It's, it's there. It's not there. Down, you can't see down. it. <laughs> You can't see it. I've put it put it somewhere safe. I know, but just there's other stuff there that we. That's found. why I haven't put it away. Yes, because yeah, we didn't finish the. <laughs> we started finished filming it, yeah. the big roundup, but but yeah, that was. It's so funny when you look at that and then look at this. <laughs> this is one day more. Oh. But obviously. Yeah, but we did spend longer than an hour each yes, four we times. Did, we did. But I don't think even if we spent longer than an hour, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah. I, but if we hadn't been doing it, I don't think we would have found the Charlotte. No, no. So. You know, and we love, they're one of our favourite things to find, I'd say. They're in the top three, definitely. Yeah, uh, along with glass. Charms. Chaka charms. What's the other? <laughs> Niger beads. Oh, a big pictorial yeah. Niger bead is pretty high up there. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say they're probably our three favourite things to find. Yeah. Whenever we are walking to the beach and we say, what do we want to find? It's usually frozen Charlotte, Niger bead, or glass charm and you say head, head clay, clay pipe, pipe. <laughs> but or, I or printed bottle a printed, a printed lid. lid i think i have accepted that head clay pipe isn't on the cards for me maybe a tiny part of me hopes that now i've said that but do, it, do you one. feel like inside the truth i think so inside, yeah i think so you've just given up yeah i think so i have sort of given up on the printed, printed lid. lid but that's okay <laughs> if we were going to find one we would have found one then yes I think when it so. was in it just been dug out but I think so but that's okay we just don't go to the places do we we don't dig holes so no. we don't get there before the you know the person who digs a hole gets the best thing and we don't go in the mud because 
<laughs> For one, I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> but yeah, so generally the things we find are either tiny things that have slipped by people's notice or things that other people don't want. Yeah. Which is fine by us because yeah. the tiny things are our favourite thing to find. I do love the tiny... Uh, look how tiny all these things are. <laughs> So we just have to say a massive thank you because yesterday was our four year anniversary. It's crazy. We have had this channel for four years. About the first, I want to say maybe like 20 films we that rubbish. we made. Uh, oh no, I'd say we were rubbish for a lot more than 20 <laughs> films. I was just saying that the first 20 films we made are no longer public because sometimes people would see those videos and it would be the first video they saw of us and people were just <laughs> very nasty so we decided that we should probably just make them private people also the music should... there was the music as oh, well oh yeah someone yeah someone stole yeah it, yes there was also an issue with the music but people on patreon have still have access yes. to those awful videos <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, i mean maybe you should put on a few snips of <laughs> terrible films <laughs> but we just have to thank you all because without it's not big big headed we have got so much better it's yeah. ridiculous yeah the, the films are so much better than they used to be and that's all down to sort of you because you allowed us to continue making films and be get better buy and, better cameras yeah donations and when we had our etsy shop when yes you allowed us to buy better equipment got to practice and we do know that there are some of you that have been with us since, since the, beginning. the beginning and we really appreciate that because it must have been quite awful at difficult to watch <laughs> at some points <laughs> but, we, but yeah and we are going to continue to strive to try and get better well we're just gonna try to strive to make some bigger films mm -hmm. some challenge if you like this like film this one, yeah, yeah. So, it, so you tell us below in the comments if this is the kind of format that you like, where it's kind of mega. If, and if you have any ideas for videos or yeah, sort challenges. of mudlarking challenges, we would love to know. We've got a couple of ideas and it is fun and it does, because we have been doing this for four years now and we've been going to the same yeah. sort of spots once a week for four years and it is, yeah, it's difficult to... Make, make a film the in the same yeah. place because we've filmed everything as much as you possibly can. We still really enjoy it, but we think it would, yeah, it would be enjoy it as well to try and do something yeah, just do, differently. Yeah, just some challenge. You know, doing this five days in a row. I mean, it was hard work, mm -hmm. but and it was a little soul destroying. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but it paid off in the end. So thank you to anyone that has ever subscribed to our channel, anyone that has ever commented, anyone that's ever liked or just watched a video. Thank you of course to all of our wonderful donors and our Patreons. We just have to thank you for an amazing four years that has, I mean, completely changed our lives. Yeah. And there is something that we're quite excited about this month, hopefully coming in the post. Oh, what? <laughs> Article. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the other thing. No, we've got so many things going on. <laughs> so, and we are also close to 28,000, which would be amazing if we could. 28,000. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed, you can subscribe down below and it's completely free. So, thank you for everything. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.